Well, I hope your basement didn't flood these past seven days of rain here in Ohio. And I just wanted to let you guys know of something that I've installed in my house I've really uh, never needed to use. But in 2011, we did have the power go out here in Cuyahoga Falls. And my sump pump wasn't working because it's uh, powered by electricity. We didn't have the basement flood because we, we took... Uh, buckets and scoop water out and put it down the drain and that worked but what if we're not home i wanted to show you guys uh, something that you could install pretty simply yourself or get a buddy to help you out and as you know your sump pump like mine is going to run off of ac power and if that power goes out uh you're you're done for unless you have a battery backup but even the battery backups can fail and uh, not work and your basement still floods uh, what i've what i've installed here is it's called a liberty pump it's uh powered by your your water line so i ran a i ran the three quarter inch water line into this unit and then tied it in to the output of the sump and of course, you have a check valve so the water can't go back down into the hole. And a check valve here so the water can't go back down and drain into your, um, into your water basin. And the, way, the way this works is when the, the float here reaches a certain level, it'll kick on. And I just triggered it there. And it'll suck water out of the, out of the hole. For every one gallon of city water it uses, it will put out two gallons of water. So it uses city water, which uh, in this case is usually on. If your power goes out, the city's pumps are usually still working and you'll still have water. Uh, it's, uh, I have the float set to be at a higher level than the float for the main electric pump. So really only if this electric pump goes out or it breaks or the power goes out, the water level will rise, obviously, enough. And that that reserve, this uh, water pump here, water-powered pump will turn on and evacuate the water out of here. Sure beats buckets and scooping out water. Like I said, if it's Liberty Pump Jet. If you want more details, just let me know. But uh, it's model number SJ10. You can look it up online. It's not that much money. And hopefully this saves you a, um, a flooded basement. As a backup, I've also I put this little, um, little alarm. <laughs> if the water level gets too high, you can see right here, these two electrodes. If the water touches that, it makes a, makes a circuit and the alarm sounds. And then I, I know that... All my pumps have failed and I need to do something else to make sure the basement doesn't flood. Take care.